this was originally supposed to be the only thing I was going to get.
Hi. 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 How have you been? It's been it's been a long time since I talked to the camera, I feel like. Um uh, it probably won't be, depending on how I cut the vlog. But it has been a long time. And um to address things, I do have pink hair. I have artist hair. I've always wanted pink hair, um, uh, but I was too scared to like bleach my whole head. Um, so I started with the inner layer. I got it bleached last autumn and then dyed it like a deep blue. And then once the original color faded, I ended up dyeing it at home um, with the basically at home kits from Lime Prime. It was super easy and yeah, it's very cute. I have artists here. Next time maybe I'll start doing the outer layer as well. I don't know. We'll see. It's expensive. But anyways, um, what do we want to talk about? Oh yeah. So I've mostly been at home recently, but yesterday I ventured outside and I took a walk in the park because it was very nice weather. The sun was out and the park was very nice. It's always my favorite park. Um, and also I stopped by the local fountain pen shop because I have had a pen on hold for a couple months now. I think we I had it reserved in January um, and then with shipping delays and whatnot um, I didn't get around to picking it up until uh, yesterday and it's the I think it's called the Kuwaiko. The Kuwaiko pen. This is one of my first Kuwaiko pens. It's super tiny. And this is a special limited edition one. Like you can kind of see the packaging. Can you tell? It's like an iridescent color. And the pen inside is this gorgeous like iridescent pearl colored. It's super small. Um, and I'm very excited for it. And it just looks so pretty. It looks so pretty and it's tiny. I always like to count my pens so this works out perfectly well. Um, and we'll be I'm very excited to use it. Yes, I'll probably take another photo of it or like a clip of it with better lighting because the sun's already setting. Um, so you can kind of truly see how pretty this pen is. But yeah, this is limited edition, I think. And I'm very excited to add this to my fountain pen collection. And this was originally supposed to be the only thing I was going to get. But then I went and looked at the inks. And they had new inks, including this one called... Old Grey Tea by I think Dominant Industry. I think it's a Korean brand. So it's called Old Grey Tea. I did get partially for the name because also Old Grey Tea is what I'm drinking right now. <laughs> but yeah, um, I have it inked up in this pen and I'll insert a clip, but it's more of an, it's a lot more orange. I would call it almost like pumpkin soup color than Earl Grey, which is kind of disappointing. But also not because that orange is really really nice so that's that and then on my way out I got distracted by like they had those um, refillable ink systems uh, with a J Herbin ink which I really like I have this tiny one here which I think is just the cutest thing and then because the refillable system was really cool so I got ink just to use the refillable system and it's this one. It's like an orchard yellow brown shade. Um, I have it in this pen. I'll include swatches later. But I also really like this ink. And basically, uh, <laughs> the first time that I stepped outside to not do, like to not take out the trash or to get food was to go spend money on fountain pen and inks. So, yeah. <laughs> I should label this ink. It doesn't come with a label, but I should label this ink so I know what it is. That's what we're going to do. We're going to use the label maker that I bought and put it to good use. And there's a strand of hair. There we go. Mm. Aww. 
Thank mm -hmm. you. 